It's pretty much inevitable. Whenever there's a mass shooting in the U.S. where attention lasts for more than a couple of days because some shootings just get swept under the rug at this point, they're frequent enough, we end up with some variation on the theme of thoughts and prayers, that only thoughts and prayers can protect our students, only thoughts and prayers can protect our military bases, where presumably there's military security who is armed. And of course, only thoughts and prayers can protect those concerts in Sin City. Wait a second. Specifically, whenever there's a school shooting, the religious right can't wait to do a victory dance and talk about how this is because you took religion out of school. You took God out of the classroom and now he won't protect you, which basically just makes God seem like an asshole. It also makes me wonder why the hell there are shootings in churches if religion is the protectorate. But okay, faith is the only shield that we have, right? So prove it. I mean, many of the major politicians in the U.S. are the ones who are advocating for thoughts and prayers, and that only God can really shape things. So why are we wasting all this money on security for them? Why aren't they living this lifestyle? I mean, clearly this is the only way that we're going to be able to save our kids, so why not show how effective it is by getting rid of all of your armed security, getting rid of all of your guns, living your life on thoughts and prayers? I mean, thoughts and prayers are going to make our kids safe, right? So why are you wasting all this money on security systems and armed details and other things that are ultimately just redundant and cost taxpayer money? And, I mean, as an added bonus, you finally got a way to shut us atheists up. If God is powerful enough to stop a madman with a gun when all these security systems fail, when background checks fail, when gun control fails, then obviously we would have to go back and rethink our own belief structure, right? So, I mean, what's there to lose?